Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today is Friday, November 8th. I sound a little down right now. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. You know, yesterday was my birthday. Um, I went to Denny's for my bre for my grand free grand slam for your birthday. And then I walked to Starbucks because it's like not that far from Denny's. It's a walk, but not that bad. And I got my free drink for my birthday at Starbucks. And then I came home. And then, you know, the meeting there, um, the Bremit group. And then we went to Applebee's for dinner. Um, I was starving because I didn't have anything all day, you know, since breakfast. Um, so I had a steak and with baked potato and broccoli. And somebody was nice enough, in our group, was nice enough to pay for dinner, which I was appreciated and it saved me some money. Um, then I came home, got the mail, um, I got a card from my uncle, and he usually writes a check. But this time he sent cash, and it was the same amount as he would if he wrote a check. So I didn't have to go to the bank today. Um, I thought I was going to go um, because of that. Um, and then I got another card from a friend of mine, for tar and, and that card was a gift certificate for Target. And then earlier that day, yesterday, I got an email from Amazon with a gift, car uh, gift card, well not really, you know, an e-card from uh, my aunt and uncle, my dad's sister and her husband for $25 for Amazon. They didn't use that one yet. I don't know what to you know use it for. Um, then this morning or this afternoon, late late morning, early afternoon, no well, late morning, I went to Target. You know, thought I would you know, use that gift certificate and I had stuff in the cart, you know, nothing that I really needed or really wanted. But so um, I put everything back on the shelves and left. And then I walked to Jersey Mike's because um, if you join their e-club or whatever you want to call it, on your birthday they send you a coupon for a free regular sub sandwich and a free drink. So that's what I did. And then I came home, worked on the diamond painting, um, then I was getting hungry and I didn't take anything out. Um, we didn't go to Suncoast tonight, obviously, for um, dinner in the showroom. So I didn't know what I wanted to do for dinner. I didn't feel like cooking, but I didn't want to order out. But um, there was nothing quick and easy to fix um, besides pasta, and I really didn't want that. So I did end up ordering out. I ordered through Uber, e Uber Eats. I got PF chains. Um, I got the fried ri chicken fried rice. And it's not the greatest fried rice. I had better. I'm used to Chicago style fried rice. But this one had the bean sprouts and green onions like I had in Chicago. It just tasted different. That I'm used to, but I have enough for leftovers for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm going to Prim to see the Clarence Clearwater Revisited. Uh, friends of my parents are picking me up. They told me about it and they're picking me up and going there and we'll um, eat at McDonald's, which is fine with me. Um, so. Then I got the mail today and I got another birthday card and then I got a thing from the HOA, and it's still in my mom's name, though I told her that she passed away, and I thought I changed my name, but um, anyway, I knew in the last meeting they were going to raise the price for the um, HOA. They said about 30 bucks. And I'm like, okay, that'll be fine. But in the letter, um, in the packet, it was like the stuff for the budget outlining and 
Oh, and then the cover letter. They're having a meeting Tuesday to ratify the budget and stuff. Um, but in that letter, you know, they talked about, you know, how the raise in the rate, you know, with the $30. And then they're adding an additional $50 for, oh God, I can't think of the word. Now I can't think of the word. Starts with the R. Reserve. <laughs> they're adding $50 to reserve. Making the total amount four twenty. I'm not happy about that. I think I have enough in the monthly thing for it. Um, but I start crying, I'm a little panicking. It won't be till next year, but you know that's like couple months away so I don't know what I'm gonna do I know I need to find a job I, look, I was I've been looking on Craigslist and monster.com and they really don't have anything well monster doesn't Craigslist they do but you know you don't drive and things are like far away and they add up over time. They don't. I don't know what to do. And I started looking at this other um, career job search place, and I put my resume up on there. Um, but I don't know what to do. I, I just wish I could catch a break. You know, I want somebody up there to help me, and, and they're not helping. Oh. You know, things are, you know, think, things are going okay, and then something, you know, happens. And it's been doing that since she passed, and I wish I would stop doing that, but I guess that's life. I think... When I was looking at ericsjobs.com, I saw this thing. Well, there's like a, some things where I like scam, like scam things. But there's this one called Rover. It's like for dog pet sitting and stuff. And I looked into that, but I'm not sure about it. You know, background checks and everything. And I don't know. I was, I'm very tempted to doing that. Because I can stay home and do that. I don't know. I'm not happy right now. I, you know, I got to call my financial guy soon. Because I got to pay the property taxes and stuff. I'll probably discuss this with him. So, anyway, I'm going to end it here and try not try to be positive that's it for now see you guys later